Saturday. This is going to be for Saturday, May 28th. On Saturday, this is the day we start the day and uh, Mars and Jupiter are not in conjunction, but by we get by the time we get to the end of the day, they will move into conjunction, although the exact to the minute conjunction is going to be happening, like I said, early Sunday morning. But Mars will move to four degrees of Aries on Saturday to join Jupiter. So that is really like the big business of the day. Um, and again, that degree where they are joining is two lovers strolling through a secluded park. So I feel like Mars and Jupiter aligning at this degree are is trying to show us, you know, the true nature of what we desire at this point in time, like what we really want, what we really desire, what we really wish to connect with moving forward in this new energy. And taking the action to go after it. It's also interesting because we are in this 222 year, you guys, which is all about helping us to come to a place internally via these shifts that we are going through that helps us to attract and magnetize to ourselves what can bring us like our heart's true fulfillment and our soul's true fulfillment via these relationships, these divine alignments that may be coming through as well as like opportunities and just like blessings and miracles and lost opportunities regained as well and things coming to us based on the shift that we're going through now that again align us with this sense or this experience of true full soul fulfillment and you know this degree two lovers are strolling through a secluded park being the degree for Jupiter and Mars coming into conjunction I feel like this is sort of igniting that process as well in one way or another and lighting the fire that is having us move forward and take actions that can allow that process to happen that can allow that process of us attracting and magnetizing these alignments, these opportunities, these connections that can bring us that sense of heart and soul fulfillment. So I find that to be an interesting degree where this alignment is happening as well. But, you know, let's just talk for a minute specifically about Mars and Jupiter coming together. Now, first of all, this could definitely bring like fires, you guys, like increased fires. Be very careful around like fires or sharp blades or sharp metal objects and stuff like that, like physically uh, with this energy going on, because this is expanding the Mars energy, the Mars frequency and Mars does rule those things. This could also bring some like really powerful storms or like eruptions uh, in one way or another, <laughs> but definitely like fire or eruptions or like big powerful storms and stuff like that. Also like battles and fights. People generally may be experiencing lowered levels of self-control in this energy as well, you guys, because again, this is the energy of the self and Mars also does rule the ego and this is Jupiter expansion, like unlimited energy. And so people, you know, who are not watching these videos and not necessarily aware of what is playing out and what is going on or that struggle with self-control issues anyways, may be just flying off the handle. Uh, in this energy. And honestly, like, I'm not surprised also that there have been, you know, some more violent incidents that have been taking place lately. And we kind of need to be like a little bit aware of that as well, because again, like some people just aren't going to be handling this energy very well because it, it takes the limitations off of the anger. Like it takes, there's no impulse control. You know what I mean? And so, and especially like with Mercury retrograde right now, too, and things just not being clear and all this Pluto energy as well. Like, yeah, I mean, I, that's pretty much the best way I can put it, like lack of impulse control and unlimited levels of anger and aggression and irritation and conflict like these things are do have an opportunity to be quite excessive in this energy when we are talking about Jupiter and Mars in a conjunction together. However, you guys, you know, the part that I have been putting a greater focus on as we've been talking about this energy building all week is the courage and the strength and the bravery and the willpower and the motivation and the inspiration and the self-confidence and the like willingness to fight for what's right and to do the right thing that this energy also represents. So, you know, of course, like all energy, there are two very specific octaves along which this aspect could present and play out. Um, so we do want to make sure that we are exercising self-control this weekend. Like it's very important that we are not just letting it all just be totally like 
unlimited in any type of way when we're dealing with any aspect of ourselves because that, you know, it can just be overblown everything, like unlimited everything. And as a result of that, you know, this is great energy for getting stuff done, for working out, for exercising, for like doing anything that requires physical energy that is not risky or, you know, specifically very dangerous, but just like doing some hard work or getting some energy out or being very physically active. Like these things are very, very supported in this energy that we have when we have Jupiter and Mars coming together in the sign of Aries. And, you know, as I've been saying, like this really is motivating us to stand in our personal truth, to stand up for ourselves, to break ourselves free from those toxic situations, to like come back into our power, to put our foot down, to make like, you know, when I say that this is not a good energy for risk taking, like I said, this is specifically in terms of things that might compromise us on like a physical level. Like this is not good energy for like street racing, okay, and stuff like that. But this is good energy for taking a risk in association with something that we've been wanting to do or, you know, maybe we haven't had the courage to do or again, like standing up for ourselves in some type of a way or launching a new venture or, you know, deciding to start something new or deciding to go in a new direction or deciding to make a choice that we've been pondering about or that maybe has been scaring us a little bit, but we are feeling like very called towards or to follow a dream or to follow our passion or to just you know, get back in touch again with the truth of who we truly are and, you know, follow that. Like, even if it takes us away from our comfort zone completely, like these are the type of financial ventures as well. Like these are the type of things that have a tendency of paying off in this energy because this is a very fortunate energy. Like Jupiter rules success and luck and blessings, but, and Mars rules actions. Like this is like lucky breaks and being at the right place at the right time and like fortunate action playing out in one way or another. But you know, because of the other end of this octave in terms of the physicality of things, the physical body, like our, our, our head specifically as well being ruled by Mars and Aries. Like we just want to be careful and not make foolish choices, like not do foolish things. Okay. Like foolish things can lead to unfortunate consequences in this energy. So we just really want to try to keep a hold on our own selves. Again, practice the self-discipline, the self-control, working out, exercise, exercising, physical activity is a good, really, really good way. Hard work is a really good way to navigate and manage this energy. But yeah, we just want to be careful with risk taking and being foolishly overconfident, especially in athletics or work that is inherently dangerous. So again, like, you know, that street racing or drag racing or bungee jumping or, you know, uh, motorcycle. So like just that type of stuff is the kind of stuff that we want to be careful with in this energy. It's also interesting, like I said, you know, Venus is actually moving to one degree of Taurus on Saturday. So simultaneously, while we have Mars in Aries, his home sign, his sign of rulership coming into exact conjunction with Jupiter, also in Aries, simultaneously, we have Venus moving into her own sign of Taurus, leaving Aries, moving into Taurus. So now we have both Venus and Mars in their signs of rulership, which makes very strong Martian Venetian energy. When a planet is in its sign of rulership, its energy is very pure. Like it, it, there's a very pure and strong expression of the energy. And we also right now have Neptune in Pisces, which is Neptune's sign of rulership. And we also have Saturn in Aquarius. Aquarius was or Saturn is the ancient ruler of Aquarius. So we have Neptune, Saturn, Venus, and um, Mars in their home signs right now. And with but with all of these planets in their home signs together in the context of everything else that is going on in terms of the aspects playing out in this chart, it's like the faith, Jupiter, Ju well, Jupiter in this mix as well, but the inspiration, Neptune in Pisces and the work ethic, Saturn and Aquarius and the passion and strength, Mars and Aries and motivation as well to get or create what we desire. Venus and Taurus is very supported right now. There's like the spiritual component, this very physical work based manifestation component. There is this passion, fire, energy, inspiration, courage, willpower component, and also this like receptive creative component uh 
birthing type component, Venus, Saturn, Neptune, Venus, and Mars all in their home signs. And then Jupiter there as well, which is expanding things and also bringing this, um, this inspiration and this encouragement and this faith and trust and belief. So there actually is a lot of very divine and cosmic support right now for doing this task, for completing this mission, for aligning with our authentic truth, breaking ourselves free from the addictions or the self-sabotaging patterns or the toxic dynamics that we've been bound to that have been holding us back and keeping out of our, us out of our power, recognizing the truth of the value within us, really pulling that well to the surface and tapping into our own resources, coming into this place of self-knowledge and self-empowerment and self-mastery and really beginning to co-create with God and universe, activate our destiny, come into our highest potential moving forward throughout this year and into next year as this transition, this paradigm shift is very much underway right now. So, um, that is also something that I wanted to mention in the context of Venus now moving into the sign of Taurus as well. All Taurus themes are very prominent again on Saturday, and there may be increased fighting or conflict, Jupiter and Mars in Aries in a conjunction about these themes generally as people are standing up for themselves and taking back power largely based on these revelations and reprioritizing values that is going on right now as well. Mercury retrograde in the sign of Taurus, Venus now moving into Taurus, Uranus and the North Node in Taurus. Really, you know, with the North Node there as well, our next phase of growth, the, the lesson plan that we are engaged in currently right now as well is also about teaching us to discover and to recognize the resources within us, the valuable resources within us, and to tap those and begin cultivating them and building something with them that can lead to some type of tangible, physical, material, comfort, or abundance externally. North node in the sign of Taurus right now, south node in Scorpio, as we release ourselves from these toxic attachments or toxic subconscious programming or thought loops or karmic loops from the past, like it's all fitting together. It all plays together. But we are definitely reprioritizing our value and our values generally. Remember, on we have Mercury at a woman pursued by mature romance as well. We are reprioritizing what we want and what we desire for ourselves moving forward. And Saturday, definitely a very big energy day. Energy should be very high all weekend. Like this is very, very big time energy that we have going on with an emphasis on freedom, personal truth, value, resources, and potential as well. On Saturday, we have the sun at eight Gemini. That Sabian symbol is aroused strikers surround a factory. So again, like we're standing up for ourselves, like we're not taking it anymore. Like anywhere where we have been taken advantage of or been being manipulated or been being like robbed of what we truly deserve. Like we are putting our foot down. We are standing up for ourselves. We are on strike. Like we are not having it anymore. We are going in a new direction. We are changing things up. Aroused strikers surround a factory with Mars and Jupiter in a conjunction willing to fight for it as well on Saturday. And then on Saturday also, we have the Earth at eight degrees of Sagittarius. That Sabian symbol is deep within the depths of the Earth. New elements are being formed. So this is the third day in a row. On Thursday, we had workmen drilling for oil. On Friday, we had um, a well with a bucket under a, a bucket and rope under the shade of majestic trees. And now we have deep within the depths of the Earth, new elements are being formed. Like we are seeing like there is a vibrational energetic shift going on inside of us and it is allowing us to view ourselves in a new light. It is showing us the resources within us and the valuable gems that those actually are and can translate into if we can recognize them and align ourselves with a path that allows us to engage them and to um, step into that and to become that and to express it outwardly and as a result to again really become like the master of our own destiny in this energy based on what we are recognizing deep within us. Also you know uh, Venus moving to one degree of Taurus that Sabian symbol is a clear mountain stream. So we are seeing things clearly now we are starting to perceive this value more clearly and from a higher perspective. It's also streams of consciousness like we are getting a purified and refreshed view of our own value of from this like greatly elevated perspective. And we do still have on Saturday, Mercury at 28 degrees of Taurus, the woman pursued by the mature romance. And so again, like all of these same themes that I've been talking about, I feel like this is 
us coming back into alignment with a more refined view and version of what we are and therefore what we will and won't accept for ourselves going forward. So all of these things, you know, that we really have playing out on Saturday, day one of our Mars Jupiter conjunction, while we also have Venus moving into Taurus, putting Mars and Venus both in their signs of rulership. Now let's talk about Sunday. This is the big day, you guys. Like I said, it's actually at 6.20 a.m. Eastern time when Mars and Jupiter come into exact alignment and it is happening at exactly three degrees in 19 minutes of Aries. But you guys know I read the Sabian symbols and so I'm rounding up a degree when I'm looking at the degree placement. So when I'm reading you the degree placement for the Sabian symbol, I'm looking at four degrees of Aries because we round up when we look at Sabians, but um, three degrees in 19 minutes is the exact degree to the minute where this activation is occurring. And again, that Sabian symbol is two lovers strolling through a secluded park. So I do feel like this is trying to bring us to a place where we can go after and attract and magnetize the things that are truly in authentic alignment with us now. And that can bring us in this two, two, two year as well. You guys, there's another two two lovers strolling through the park that can really help to align us with what will bring us our heart and soul's true truest form of fulfillment at this point in time and you know again like I've already spoken quite a bit about this Jupiter Mars conjunction and what that can do for us but ultimately it is bringing us to a point of defending our personal truth or our personal peace and what we love in one way or another we have these major themes of Aries and Taurus going on we've got a whole bunch of planets right now in the sign of Taurus and we have this Mars Jupiter conjunction happening in the sign of Aries which is Aries home sign and Aries and Jupiter this this is a huge expansion of a desire to free ourselves to align with and pursue actively our personal truth to really be able to express ourselves freely for who we are and what we how we authentically like identify ourselves and stuff like that and to really be able to like ignite our passion and our willpower and like follow our inspiration and really um create with all of this Taurus energy from this place of personal liberation. It's like what this is all driving for and it's personal liberation based on the recognition of the resources and the value and the potential that we hold inside of us. And with all of this Taurus Aries energy, you know, we are really willing or likely to be willing to fight for our personal truth, our personal resources, our personal peace, and what we love very much in this energy. Now, the difference between what we have going on today in this chart as this energy is expressing, as opposed to yesterday, we still, I mean, we still have a Taurus moon. Like we have Jupiter and Mars conjuncting in Aries, and we have a Taurus moon this whole time with now Venus and Taurus as well. So you guys, this definitely has a lot to do with relationship dynamics, with partnerships, with finances, with resources sources with material comforts also like on a greater macro level this could definitely be in regards to supply chains and food and um financial markets financial institutions long established uh, orders of power and control and things that we are working on right now as well there could be uh some major fights as well going on over resources or um elevated prices as well very high prices i'm not surprised that we're seeing that because jupiter and mars together with all of this taurus energy ruling finances and money like yeah there could definitely be some elevated uh prices of things over this next period of time as well but today's chart we have another we have something else that's very interesting going on we also you know have this mars jupiter energy and i talked a lot about that when i was just talking about the energy for saturday because that is when this aspect came into uh when the exact when the conjunction happened by degree but on sunday we also have the moon in Taurus going to be forming an exact conjunction to Mercury retrograde in the sign of Taurus for the exact moment of this conjunction. So, you know, I'm looking at the chart on Sunday for 6.20 a.m. Eastern time when this conjunction is exact to the minute. And at that exact point in time, we also have the moon, which is going to be in an exact to the degree conjunction 
to Mercury, who is currently retrograde right now. And Mercury also rules like transactions and things going back and forth and stuff like that. We really, really want to be careful with major uh, purchases in this energy. And this is very good energy for making like financial investments and speculating and stuff like that. But with Mercury retrograde and the moon in conjunction for this exact activation, we want to be really careful that we are understanding things properly and that we are dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's and that we are really seeing things for what they are and that we are not misunderstanding anything or being confused in any type of a way. Um, there could be a lot of confusion going on in this energy with the moon and Mercury retrograde in a conjunction in Taurus. And this could be in regards to money or to resources. And it could cause some type of fights as well, some type of fights or some type of uh, conflicts that are going on or some type of like eruption of anger also in one type of a way. These things are just coming to me as I'm thinking about these planets that we have in effect and, you know, what this could translate into, what how this could manifest. But ultimately, you know, we're defending the personal truth and our personal peace. And again, it relating to our personal resources and the potential and also the mental and emotional recognition of those. The moon coming to an alignment with Mercury retrograde in the sign of Taurus This is also like the other way, another way that this could manifest is also like us really rediscovering Mercury retrograde, really like seeing and reevaluating the truth of the value or the truth of the resources and aligning with that on a very emotional internal level as well. Like really seeing the value in our inner resources in this energy that again could have us uh, really wanting to take some action, move forward in some type of way, fight for our truth in some type of way. That is definitely coming through in this energy as well. I just find it very interesting that exact moment of this conjunction. We also have the moon and Mercury retrograde in exact alignment in Taurus. There could definitely, this could definitely also manifest in terms of fights going on in partnerships, financial arrangements, romantic relationships, just interpersonal dynamics generally about a miscommunication, about uh, things not being understood properly or, um, things getting lost in translation or just some type of mercury retrograde issue that is affecting our emotions in some type of way and making us really act out in like anger or inspiring us to like go in a totally radically new direction or something like that or again it may not be a misunderstanding it may have been something that we had been misunderstanding that we are gaining some type of clarity about in regards to now or that is motivating us to go in a different direction or take some type of big action or something like that. So that is very interesting to me, the way that these two conjunctions are playing out simultaneously because the moon and Mercury, this is a mental and emotional alignment. This is like us being on board with ourselves and with Mercury and Mars or with Jupiter and Mars together as well in the sign of Aries, this is really wanting to take some type of big action in regards to the truth of ourselves or the truth of our belief or something like that. So we may be coming to some type of conclusion, also making some type of choice and decision. Mercury also represents choices and decisions and it also does represent partnerships and pairs and stuff like that in the sign of Taurus. Like we may be making some type of decision about some type of big action that we wanna take based on a reevaluation that's been going on or based on coming into contact with some type of missing information. I don't know, you guys, something along those lines, but that is what is likely to be playing out generally. It could go a myriad of ways, but those are the general themes that I'm thinking about in, in this energy. And again, we just want to be really sure that we are understanding things properly with Mercury retrograde right now transformations because remember and it's also interesting because mercury in that conjunction with the moon is not just like a solitary isolated thing that's going on mercury is also making aspects right now mercury is making a trine to pluto mercury is also in like building into a square with saturn and so this is also representing transformation and overcoming blocks and resistance and limitation as well that we are opening ourselves up to be able to move forward and take some type of action so some type of a revision some type of reevaluation something that we're rediscovering or that we're learning now creating some type of mental and emotional alignment that is transforming us in some type of a way that is helping us to overcome resistances blocks limitations so that we can like explode forth in this new direction with mars and jupiter together in the sign of aries we also 
have more symbolism to talk about in terms of the Sabians that are going along with this energy today. Nine degrees of Gemini, where the sun is on Sunday at the moment of this exact activation. A quiver filled with arrows. You guys, like Mars definitely rules. Mars and Jupiter, like... <laughs> Jupiter, you know, Sagittarius, this is the centaur with the bow and arrow, right? And Mars rules blades and weapons and stuff like that. And so we have our eye on the target, you guys, in this energy as it's playing out on Sunday. And again, there is this possibility for this aggressive behavior that may be going on. But I'm really feeling like it's more so stemming from the things that we are standing up against and standing up for ourselves for at this point in time. I feel like it's a more defensive energy than an offensive energy. i put it like that. However, we have to keep in mind that a lot of people are not going to be able to control themselves in this energy. So kind of want to take some care, you know, maybe like being in big crowds and stuff like that. Maybe that's like not exactly the best place to be while we have this energy going on but it's all good you guys i'm not like saying you know oh like doom and gloom terrible stuff no like this is a very positive energy like again like it's jupiter and mars it's fortunate like actions it's success it's being at the right place at the right time but we just want to make sure that we are not uh in a place of uncontrolled negative vibrations or unlimited negative vibrations that are sort of like carrying us through the world uh this weekend we also have nine degrees of uh, sagittarius where the earth is on sunday a mother with her children on the stairs again this is a protective energy this is a defensive energy this is us like exerting force for the purpose of guarding what we love at this point in time which could be a myriad of things but ultimately stemming down to what is an authentic alignment with us and what we really value you in this experience we are defending that this quiver filled with arrows the mother on the stairs like we are not letting anyone push us around or push us down we're ready to defend ourselves we also have that moon mercury conjunction at 27 degrees of taurus an old indian woman selling beads and trinkets so again this is about our ability to create things for ourselves that can provide for us in this world. This is about these resources and this value, this ability, this talent that we hold inside and our ability to tap that and utilize it to create something that can sustain us externally as we are going through this North Node and Taurus process right now and trying to come back into the state of self-mastery and mastery over our own experience essentially based on the utilization of our original gifts, talents, and abilities. An old Indian woman selling beads and trinkets, the position of the moon, Mercury, conjunction it's like we are finally discovering it like we're finally seeing it like we're finally getting it and we're like okay i can do this like i can create something that can actually help me to build a life for myself that is detached from you know the old existing power structures or matrices to which i used to surrender my power based on this lack of value and ability that i may have perceived inside of myself and then of course venus we still have one taurus a clear mountain stream at that point in time on sunday and jupiter and mars the two lovers strolling through a secluded park so we've got our eye on the target this is a very defensive energy that we may be experiencing on sunday and again we just want to take care use caution and make sure that we are not engaging in any type of foolish risk taking in terms of like our physical body in any type of way. But again, this is a very blessed and fortunate transit as well that is trying to align us with what can bring us success and fulfillment going forward. So woo, you guys, that was a long one. That was a lot of talking. I hope I was able to provide something for you guys in that info that can help you navigate this energy this weekend. This card wants to come out. It's a synchronicity card. It just literally says yes. So this is the synchronicity card that came out of the deck today. It says yes. I'm not doing tarot today because We've just been going for too long now, and our message from God is yes, and this is, you know, I feel like in support of everything else that is, if there is something that we need to do this weekend, if we are inspired to take some type of action, some type of way, especially to liberate ourselves, to be ourselves, and to go in a direction that feels authentic to us at this point in time, the answer is yes, you guys. So that is what I have to say today. That is the message from the stars. That is the little message from the synchronicity card that wanted to come out today as well. 
Again, I hope I was able to provide something of value for you guys that can help you as you navigate this very significant energetic weekend that we have unfolding. If you guys liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you think that they would be interested. Leave me comments, you guys. I absolutely love your comments. I love you guys so, so much. I love your feedback. I appreciate each and every one of you. So grateful. I have a Facebook page, a Facebook group, a website, and some other social media stuff. Those are in my description box below and come back with me on Monday, you guys. That will be my new moon in Gemini video that's coming up. And you guys, this is likely, I said this a couple days ago, but we're about to probably likely have quite a feisty, fiery new moon in Gemini, very action oriented coming at us as well. So you don't want to miss that either. Have a beautiful weekend, everybody, and I will see you then. Bye, guys.